A new report by the American Lung Association says about four in 10 people nationally are breathing unhealthy air, including in Macon. Caitlin Sabater has the details on whether people have noticed a difference. Bill McCormick used to spend a lot more time outdoors. But I'm not out as much as I want because it's clearly impacting me. He's lived in Macon since 2015 and says he's noticed days when the air quality just isn't the same. It's a nagging cough. It's a drippage that occurs. Uh, it's typically nightly. Dr. David Plaxico with the Allergy and Asthma Clinic of Macon said these symptoms can occur during days when the air quality is poor. It can hear it through their eyes, nose, sinuses breathing and asthma and or pneumonia. The latest annual state of the air report says Macon has seen more days of unhealthy air quality because of short-term particle pollution. These are spikes of air pollution caused by construction sites, fires and smokestacks. These high pollution areas you get an alert and so people have to stay indoors. The same masks we wear because of COVID-19 can also protect you from the poor air quality. That has really helped I think to to cut down a lot of uh, exposure to the pollution. Plaxico said Macon's air quality could be affected by pollution from its much larger neighbor to the north. And we will get a higher concentration just from being in the general area where Atlanta is. The secondary thing is these fronts will pull it, pull it down to us. I asked McCormick if the latest air quality report <laughs> concerned him for the future. Uh, not particularly. It's called uh, hard-headed Scotch Irishman. You just gut it through it. In Macon, Caitlin Sabater, 13 WMAZ News. And though the state of the air report shows there's been more spikes of unhealthy air quality days, it also shows there's been an improvement in ozone and year-round particle pollution.